I kind of felt the need to try and record a wee video on this because I saw people asking questions and I've not found anything on the internet to do with this, but it might prove interesting to some people. So you can automate each section of a sample. So I figured I'd try and show you how this works because it might be useful. I'm going to use the ones that are in the machine. I'm just going to use a simple kick to try this. Um, so you've got that. Quite straightforward. Only normally what you could do is you could apply effects such as a delay. And it would apply to all. Um, I'll turn it off for now. Or maybe you want to turn the volume down. But actually, it turns out you can do that on the individual notes. So for example, if we want that second kick to be quieter, we can actually select it by holding that down and turning that down. When you do that, it goes red around, around the actual part that you're changing and also it flashes. And it also applies to other parts. So for example, we can select that note and we can go into effect and delay. Maybe we can put a slight delay on just that note. Again, these parts here go red. So I've got my mix ratio down is nothing apart from on this note here. Again, you can do stuff with the sequence as well. So maybe we'll select that note there and we'll set that to have a trigger count of three and we'll set it on a triplet. And I believe that's how the automation works. So basically it's just a matter of hold down the button you want and you can apply it that way. Um, I think if you do that, it should remove it. So you can turn the notes off as well. Um, so again, you can click on the note you want, select what you want to do with it, The only thing I don't think you can do is apply two effects. So like, for example, I couldn't make note one have a delay and have that one on a, another effect. It would have to be the same effect, but you can have different parameters for each set or each part of your sequence that you've set. So that one there, we can set to maybe a higher part with a half delay. This one, we'll set it to a really small delay. I hope this kind of helped somebody, um, but I kind of figured that was worth showing because I've not found any videos to show you how to automate different segments of, of your pads.